I'm Anthony Valeri, Director of Investment Management in Wealth and Fiduciary Services. The long-awaited Fed pivot may finally be here. Earlier in May, the Fed softened its tone and suggested its interest rate hiking campaign may be coming to an end. That coupled with more evidence the economy is slowing has investors assessing what a Fed pause means. Now, the Fed may still raise interest rates, but it's look, worth looking at what does it mean for stock and bond investors if the Fed is indeed done raising interest rates. A look back at the end of prior Fed rate hike cycles reveals that on average, the Fed has waited five months from its last rate hike before cutting interest rates. Stock market performance has been good on average from the time of the last rate hike to the time of the first rate cut, rising on average 3.2%, with four of the last five occurrences particularly strong. Still, when you look at the data overall, only 50% is positive. In short, it's a coin flip as to whether the market interprets the interest rate pause as a benefit for stocks. It's probably no surprise that now markets have almost fully priced in a rate cut by December, uh, which is not too far off of the historical average of five months. Let's extend our analysis to look at longer six month and 12 month total returns because trying to time such an event is very, very difficult to say the least. Historical data here is favorable with firmly positive returns over the subsequent six and 12 months after the last rate hike. However, if we look at when the Fed begins to cut rates, we get a slightly different story. Uh, performance after the Fed begins to cut interest rates is actually weaker than the period that follows the last rate hike. Total returns are path positive over six and 12 months, but they are below historical averages. Since rate cuts often come as the economy is weakening or in recession, this may help explain the weaker performance once the Fed begins to cut interest rates. Let's switch gears and look at the bond market. And here we have a shorter data set since the aggregate bond index began in 1977. But you can see here that performance for the bond market, both after the last rate hike and after the first rate cut is firmly positive and fairly strong across the board. Now, performance in the early 1980s period was boosted by high interest rates, but even subsequent performance is fairly strong and again, firmly positive. In short, the end of Fed rate hikes favors bonds over stocks, at least in the short run. Now, every situation is unique, but a look at historical stock and bond performance would still suggest that a cautious or defensive positioning is warranted around the end of Fed rate hikes. I'm Anthony Valeri. Thanks very much for joining. We'll speak to you again soon.